All right guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have a really cool video for you guys. This is a question that we get all the time from very novice bowlers, even to more intermediate bowlers, and that is why you guys play in different lines. Today we have a house shot, short pattern, long pattern for you guys, and we're gonna show you guys, demonstrate why we play different lines, different parts of the lane, everywhere we go on different patterns. Stay tuned. All right guys, so we have a giveaway for you this month of November. We're giving away two packages. Brad package and a Kyle package, and each package consists of a brand new bowling ball, a night road, and a supernova, and then a signed in game jersey worn by Kyle and I, and then one month free membership into our Brad and Kyle membership. Click the link in the description, bio, wherever you are, and get signed up. At the end of the month, we'll be doing the drawing. Good luck. Enjoy the video. All right, Brad, so pretty much everywhere we go, we don't play the same lane twice. And we know that that has to do with the oil on the lane. And we call them oil patterns. Now, we call them a pattern because it's the, they put them out in different patterns to make us play different parts of the lane. That's why you don't see us playing up 10 all the times everywhere we go. These oil patterns really dictate where and how you have to throw the bowling ball. Yeah, so a part of the big difficulty of bowling are the different uh, lane characteristics, the different lane beds, uh, you know, the different types of lanes, so wood, synthetic, uh, some of them have different hardnesses and, and, thick, and then we also have the different types of oils. So it's almost impossible to expect to go into a, a, a different house than your normal one or just a different house in general and, and be able to play the exact same line with the same ball that you do every time in league. It just doesn't exist because the characteristics of that house, oil, machine, pattern that they have specifically for their local house shot are just going to be different. So we preach versatility because of that reason and that's why you see pros they're able to do all these different types of things because they've been traveling and seeing all different types of conditions their whole lives they're so accustomed to it all right so we have our first lane here this is gonna be a house shot brad and i say we just get after it. let's just throw some normal shots like we want on a house shot get lined up and see where we have to play on this lane all right so this is just your i would say pretty typical house shot Maybe not not the highest of scoring house shots, but certainly not uh, hard. So just got lined up on the house shot. Originally, because it was a house shot, I was uh, trying to play a little bit more hook and it didn't work out. It just didn't give me much miss room and I didn't feel very comfortable. So I ended up moving my feet about 10 boards to the right. Uh, I started out 20 to 10 and now I'm probably playing around like 15 to 10 ish with a little bit of a drift in there. So we're gonna take that uh, from the house shot and now we're gonna do that exact same thing on a short pattern, uh, cheetah and we're gonna see the difference. See if it works. All right, that was a little different, huh? That was definitely a little different. So clearly Brad wasn't able to find the pocket playing the same exact line as the house shot. And the reason that is is because your house shot has a lot of oil in the middle part of the lane and dry to the right it makes it blended. It's also longer. This, the house shot we just bowled on is probably around 40 to 42 feet, somewhere around there. And it is designed for you to kind of play, you know, somewhere around 10 and then left of 10 all the way to 20 and just kind of guide your ball into the pocket. The short pattern, however, the length of the pattern like we talked about is shorter, probably about eight feet shorter. So there's eight feet less oil on the lane on this lane and that's why you saw those shots kept going high so brad if you were going to try to get lined up here we played the same spot as we did on the house shot the first time what is going to be your adjustment on this short pattern so short patterns are weird in the sense that i would say 90 percent of the moves we see professionals make and good bowlers make are left well short patterns are different because there's just simply not enough distance of oil to get your ball to what we call shim, push, slide down there to stay on the right side of the head pin. 
So as you see, when we throw it, it just hooks way too much in the middle. So it, it, it becomes harder actually if we try and move left and increase our angle. If we move left and don't increase our angle, it's just gonna overhook. There's just way too much hook in the middle. So if we move left, we have to increase our angle and go around it, that makes it really hard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move right. I'm gonna move everything closer to the gutter. And what that's doing is just basically moving all of your angles away farther from the head pin. And that way, if the aggression of the pattern, the amount of hook that the pattern has, if your ball hooks too much, hopefully it's far enough away from the head pin that it'll still get to the hole um, if you keep it like within the, the, the two tracers down lane on tin board each side, if you keep it in between those, you're just never going to be able to control the head pin. So I'm moving right. Yeah, you're not going to find hold. So let's move right. Let's try to get that ball around the gutter, keep it outside so, you know, we get away from all that dry in the middle part of the lane. All right, so that's uh, round two on the cheetah. Moved right, took me a minute to get a little lined up. Had to increase the speed a little bit and had to back off the hand a little bit. I saw that, it probably got softer. Yeah, you gotta, I mean, the pattern just naturally wants to make your ball hook too much and jump off line too much. So backing off the hand, kind of just dumping it out there, letting the ball do the work. Straighter angles is better for a shorter pattern like this. Yeah, and when we talk about playing the gutter, we don't necessarily mean, you know, the gutters change a little bit these days. I know back in the day when people said gutter, they meant one, two, three's not the gutter. Yeah. It's one, it's two. But for us, we're really talking about when we, we have to talk about where our ball is getting down lane on the short pattern. And as opposed to the house shot we bought on, on the short pattern, we have to make sure our ball gets outside of seven down lane or else it's really not gonna have a chance to strike. Even seven is probably too much. It's really gotta be outside of like six or outside and you're gonna have a chance at the pocket. I know you had one shot where it probably got to like seven down lane and you tripped the four pin out. Yes. But um, if, once you got your ball outside of that, and on the short pattern, if this makes sense, we have to get our ball so far to the right because there's none of that hold in the middle. You saw that on the first round of shots, how they just kept going left, left. Once you got that ball, when it's going to enter its hook phase outside of six, well, all of a sudden now we can control the pocket. And there's actually, you can go too far right as well. You saw a couple shots where I airmailed the head pin to the right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, when we say the gutter, we can play the gutter and will and do play the gutter. But if the actual one board is going to do that, if it's just going to hang down lane, then we're not really going to play the gutter. We just mean anywhere outside four to five you know, like yeah. break, break point wise. So we demonstrated now the difference between the house shot short pattern. Now Brad's gonna take the same line he got lined up on the short pattern with and go right over to the long pattern and let's see what happens. All right, so there were four shots on the long pattern, and I tried to do the exact same thing I did on Cheetah, and it's just not going to work. Yeah, you can see there's so much oil to the outside part of the lane. For one, the pattern's longer, and then for two, the distribution of oil, there's physically more oil on the outside part of the lane, as opposed to Cheetah, there's not as much oil on that outside part of the lane. So you can see on Cheetah, when we got it outside near the gutter, it would hook back, this pattern, we saw all those shots that were right of five down the lane, and they were never having a chance yeah, to hit no. the head pin. So Brad, we played the same line as we did on the short pattern. What is gonna be the adjustment on a long pattern here to get lined up? Well, the normal adjustment is just to move left. The opposite idea of cheetah. You know, there's so much hook in the middle on short patterns that you can't play near the head pin break point wise, it's gotta be far out. Opposite on long patterns. You wanna play near the head pin angle wise. So whether you're playing all the way out to the right, you gotta be angled toward more toward the head pin. There's no bellying like we just showed you. We tried to belly four, 
and no-go. Um, this specific pattern, I can actually play right if I wanted to based on my warm-up shots earlier. So I'm gonna do that as well. But the normal move would be to move left and uh, try and keep your angles and your break point closer to the head pin. On this one specifically, we can do both. So I'm gonna show you both. All right, so what I had to do there was I had to drop my ball speed down a lot and I had to increase my rev rate a lot. Now I've done, I've bowled my whole life so it's kind of easy for me to do, but to increase your rev rate, you have to get in a lower spot and you have to get your hand more under the ball. That allows you to just be in a better position to create more. Um, okay, so that's playing straight. Now we're gonna jump left and we're gonna play more of a, a standard shim slide uh, long pattern line. Dude. Well, that's the coolest nine pin I've ever left. <laughs> that was so nice. Wow, dude. All right, so we moved over to the long pattern. Brad, you threw some shots, posted to the right, increasing that rev rate. And we could still see that that straighter line, if you got it too far right, it really wanted to hang there. The second group of shots, we moved in. We brought our break point closer to the head pin like we talked about we should on long patterns. Get it, get our feet left, get our eyes left, and not give away that head pin as much. What are, how... How did you have to throw it when you moved to left to play that line? Yeah, so I know we're primarily talking about like lines and why pros play different lines, but they also play a lot of different other things too. So when we move left there, and as you're moving left, your angle has to naturally increase a little bit or else you're just gonna be, it's gonna be, have a hard time going to the right side of the head pin. So as we move left, it got hard because when the angle opens up just a little, it's easy for the ball to miss the break point altogether, and then you come in way light. And in the first four or five shots, I think that happened a couple times. Yeah. Where, uh, when, and when, that, when that's happening, almost all the time, you're, you're overthrowing it. Yes, there's stronger, ball, stronger balls you can throw. Yes, there's more surface. Yes, you can do th stuff like that. But if you're looking to play left and you're not totally comfortable, then uh, dialing everything down, which is what I did. And that was the key, was getting the ball speed low enough to allow me to play left and have a little bit more open angles. Yeah, so that's three patterns there. The first house shot, you know, we can kind of play a couple different places. Short pattern, had to play to the right, keep our ball speed up. Soft hand still though, we had to have a soft hand on the short pattern. And then long pattern here, we actually, I don't want to say that you didn't have a soft hand, but we had to increase the rev rate, dial down the ball speed, move everything left. So guys, that's three different patterns, three completely different angles. I know this might seem dumbed down a little bit, but we get a lot of people wondering why we were playing all different parts of the lane. Why, that, why we have different bowling balls, uh, yes. why all this stuff. Hopefully that <laughs> demonstrated a little bit of how significant just the difference in oil patterns makes on how you have to throw the bowling ball. All right, thank you guys for watching the video. And real quick, we want to shout out uh, our sponsors, Storm Bowling, Bowler Depot, Turbo. Uh, thank you guys for all the support uh, for the videos and on the professional tour. Thank you. Yeah, and, and not to mention, we can't leave these guys out, but St. Charles Lanes. We're here right now, this bowling alley that you're watching us filming. St. Charles Lanes in St. Charles, Missouri, just outside of St. Louis. They let us come in here and film and pretty much have access to everything, even all the lanes. Uh, they're such a, such a good group. They renovated this place. They have new lanes, new approaches, new paint job, new everything. They're doing a great job. If you guys are ever in the area, please come down to St. Charles Lanes. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, do all that great stuff, and we'll see you guys in the next one.